laws of exponent. In this example, I have mixed up product and quotient rules and we'll also understand the order of operation. Question here is, apply the quotient rule and evaluate each of the following. Well, I've mentioned quotient rule, but here we have product rule as well as quotient rule. The idea for this video is for you to appreciate order of operation along with the laws of exponents. First question is 2 to the power of 5 times 2 squared divided by 2 cubed. Now, whenever you have both multiplication and division, you have to do from left to right. So you read the question from left to right. So the first operation is 2 to the power of 5 times 2 squared. So whenever it is times, you will add the exponents. And when you divide, you will take away the exponent. And therefore, we can write this expression as 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 minus 3. Correct? That gives you 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 2 to the power of 4 is your answer for this one. Let's do the next one. Here, 2 to the power of 5 divide by 2 squared times 2 cubed. Again, move from left to right. So we get 2 to the power of 5 minus 2 plus 3. So in this case, the answer is 2 to the power of 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 2 to the power of 6. See how different it is. Part C. 2 to the power of 5 divide by 2 squared divided by 2 cubed will result into 2 to the power of 5 minus 2 minus 3. And that is 2 to the power of 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. And then we have 2 to the power of 5 divided by, within brackets, 2 squared divided by 2 cubed. Now you have to do brackets first, correct? So what we get here is basically 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3. Do you see that? First you have to do the brackets. Now this is kind of tricky. Now here 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we get 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of minus 1. And now we will do division which is 2 to the power of 5 since it is divide we we'll say minus of minus 1. Correct? That is 2 to the power of 5 plus 1 or 2 to the power of 6. Do you see that? It's very different and a difficult question to do. So that's a thinking question for you. So whenever the brackets are involved, then you have to do the bracket operation first and then left to right. right? So that is how you should be solving these questions. I think you can always calculate the values and write down your answer. Right? 2 to the power of 0 is what? Anything to the power of 0 is 1, right? Now, 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2 is 16, right? So you get 2 to the power of 4 as 16. And this is 2 to the power of 6. That means 16 times 2 is 32. And 32 times 2 is 64. So you get 64 here, which is also the case in part D. So you get 64. Right? So that is how you should be solving exponent related questions. Remember, whenever you have both multiplication and division involved for the same base, then add or subtract the exponents moving from left to right. I hope that helps. Thank you.